Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, as you all know, for if you've been following my videos recently, I joined a readathon. Um, this was the Scooby Doo readathon, and it was created by Simone um, at me, Simone and I, and was co-hosted by Clint and Emily. Clint from Reads Readers and Emily Emily from Novel Novels, and I can list all the channels down below. So this readathon went from September 2nd to September 15th. Today is the 14th. So I have finished it all a day early, which I'm quite happy with, um, as there are other books I would like to get to. But for this, there were seven different prompts, um, each um, describing a book or um, an, uh, each describing what you needed to find in a book to match. Um, and the ultimate goal was to do a book per prompt if you could. Um, I was successful in doing this, so this is just a wrap up for me. So for the first prompt, um, number one it was Scooby-Doo to read a book starting with the letter R or an author with the R initial. And I had chosen to read Nora Roberts or rather Chase Beak Bay by Nora Roberts, and this was a fo the fourth book in a saga that I had started quite some time ago. It just had taken me a little while to get a hold of the fourth book. So, I won't dive into too much detail as I have reviews on all of these books um, leading up into this point, and then I will do um, deeper dives into each one of them going forward for those who are interested. So, just skimming the surface... Um, I had read that one, and it was, again, the fourth book of a saga series following a family and their adoptive boys. Um, number two um, was Shaggy to read a book in your best friend's genre, and I chose to read something that Nikki enjoyed from I Read Past My Bedtime, and uh, she had given me a list of books that she could think of. I had chosen two of them and she was kind enough to send me one of them. Um, the original one I was going to go with was Woman 99. And in the end, I just wasn't feeling it at the time. So I opted to read my second choice, which was Rebecca. And I just literally just finished reading this one the other night or this last night. And Really rather enjoyed that one. That one follows a what starts out as a type of love story um, that goes into a bit of a mystery that has lots of intrigue. So definitely a really good read. Um, number three was Velma to read a book with a genius protagonist. And originally I was going to read Jason Bourne, the first one of the series, as I considered him a genius. Um... But again, just wasn't feeling it at the time. Um, I was sort of into a mystery type groove with this um, readathon, so I ended up changing my book choice, and I ended up choosing The Alchemist um, by Michael Scott, and that is a story focusing around the life of Nicholas Flamel, um, the alchemist, um, and his wife, and the the mythological story that goes in behind that, and I would consider him a genius, so that was the one that I went with. Um, that story following two twins and the prophecy that goes in behind that. Very good story. Um, and that is a that is book one of a seven-book series, which I have read before, but I actually do intend to reread it as because I really enjoyed it before. Um, number four was Fred to read a book with white and blue on the cover. I opted to read Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. And uh, this one I really enjoyed as well. Um, I absolutely adored the movie and decided to, once I learned about the fact that it was a book, I decided to give the book a shot. Um, I really enjoyed the book, although it did leave me a little bit of dis little bit disappointed in areas. Um, and again, you can listen to my previous video describing the ins and outs of that. Um, that one follows a family of witches and the events that um, go along with that. Uh, number five was Daphne to read a cover by book. So basically it was to read a book that you bought purely because you loved the title. 
think the idea is for it to represent vanity of some kind. Um, um, so for that one, I opted to read The Evil Queen by Gina Schulter. And that one was purely because I happened to be wandering at Walmart and it was decided to make, you know, a really silly move and walk down the book section. <laughs> And ended up coming across that one and the cover just, the, the image you see online doesn't do it justice. It's just very shiny, very luring. It was just a very beautiful cover. So that was the one that I went with. And that one is a retelling of sorts of Snow White from the perspective of the Evil Queen. And that one I thoroughly enjoyed out of all the books on this list that I read, I'd say that one was my favorite, and I th really, really hope that the second one, apparently, as this one was the first of a series, comes out soon, because I can't wait to read the next one. Um, number six was Scrappy Doo, to read a book with less than 200 pages, and again, being in a fantasy mood that I was, I opted to read The Last Unicorn by Peter Beagle, or Bagel. And again, this is a movie that I have seen and I actually own and enjoy it, enjoy it a lot. It is a childhood favorite of mine. So when I learned that it was originally a book, naturally, I decided to give it a shot. And I'll be honest, I really enjoyed the book. But in this case, I actually prefer the movie to the book just because I felt, felt that the book drew things out a little too much. Um... And then the last one, number seven, was Mystery Machine, and that was to read the group book called Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantro, and that is a book that is a mystery, um, mystery book and is based on the Scooby-Doo cartoon with the gang of, you know, five adults and one dog. So, number seven, Mystery Machine, um, Meddling Kids, that was a mystery novel of sorts and not one that I really, really enjoyed. I mean, it was okay. Not one of my favorites actually left me a little disappointed in that one. So, um, that concludes the Scooby-Doo readathon for me. Um, I will probably post this video either tonight or tomorrow. Um, tomorrow being the 15th of September, there will be a live show, um, I think it'll be hosted by Simone, but I'm not hundred percent positive how that all works. So, but that is my wrap up for that. So my next book that I will be reading will be for, um, the book club that I'm a part of Nikki's book club that is hosted on Instagram at, uh, hashtag back of the book or back of the bookshelf. Um, I'll be reading killing November very shortly here. So, but yeah, that is that. So for all of you who have followed me up to this point, I greatly appreciate your support and for sticking around. And for those of you who are new, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I greatly support, um, or greatly appreciate your support and checking out my channel. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.